Regina McKinney McGee, and today is my first time hosting CentralValleyTalk.com, and I am here to tell you some things that are going to be happening that's going to be exciting, and some things that will make you just go, what are they thinking? What is going on here? But anyway, let me explain what I'm doing here today. Today we are going to discuss Gina Phillips. And who is Gina Phillips? Well, Gina Phillips is an exciting character in my book, Introspection, that I wrote. And it's a series. It's about this individual who has had some life-altering experiences. And because of her life-altering experiences, guess what? She's going to take us on a journey that... It's going to like be like roller coaster rides. You're going to be sitting there shaking your head, wondering what is going on with this girl. Or you may even be crying with her. You may be laughing with her. And also you may be feeling her pain. But I'm going to tell you something. You're going to enjoy this because Gina is off the hook. In the book, I have descriptive details. Let me tell you something. This is not for young people. This is an adult book, so please don't have your children in the room while you are reading, and if you decide to read out loud, definitely don't have them in there. But with introspection, I'm hoping that people take something from this book, that they get something out of it. It's a fictional book. I use some of the, um, my upbringing in the book, but most of it is fictional. This stuff did not happen, so when you call in, when you text me, when you inbox me on Facebook, Please don't ask me, did this really happen to you? Or I know this happened to you, Regain it. We know this happened. No, it didn't happen to me. And I just want you guys to know this did not happen. But, you know, today's show is going to be interesting because I'm going to have some guests come in. And we're going to discuss introspection. And then we're going to also have some individuals that work with me with Positive Attitude Outlook, the foster care agency, and also Positive Attitude the thrift store. We're also going to be discussing what's up with that. Why do we forget things? I mean, there's times where I'll sit there and have my glasses on and I'm sitting there looking for them. Is that old age? Does that have something to do with old age? What's going on with that? So this is my first show. I'm so excited about what's going to happen. We got into Barnes and Nobles May 10th in Natomas, California, and then also June 7th, right here in Fresno, California, Barnes and Nobles. So I hope you guys enjoy the show as much as I'm having a good time here. I have my studio audience out there. Hey, you guys. Hey. Hey. We going to do it. It's all right. Hey, I like this. I like this. The ambiance is so nice. Hey, did you guys like that intro coming in? I'm going to tell you something. My son, John Bunch, and my daughter, Rajana Bunch wrote that, the lyrics, and she sang it. And if you look at the cover here and you look at, listen to the song, there's a message in the song. And I'm hoping people can get it. If you really pay attention to what's being said in the song, it has something to do with the book. Now, for those of you who have not read the book, you got to go out and get it because you can't get in the conversation. You don't know what Gina is up to. And I'm going to tell you something. Once you start reading the book, Gina is going to be a part of your life. You're going to be wondering, what is she doing today? Not only that, when you get done with the book, because it's a series, you're going to be missing Gina. And we can't have that, can we? So you know what? With no further ado, I'm going to tell you something. Better yet, why don't I just give you a little sample? I have to put my glasses on, you know, because when you reach a certain age, you know, your eyes change. At least that's what the doctor has told me. So I am going to read something to you out of introspection. I hope you like it, okay? Just a little teaser. Gina Phillips is hiding her pain while her work takes her all over the world. She attempts to follow God's law and love her family. 
Even so, she is battling internal demons that have caused her to push her dreams aside and live a lie. Yes. The truth is that no one really knows her. How many of us are like that? Having hidden secrets, you know that's a shame. Anyway, Gina has taken upon herself to dispense justice in her own way. As she meets one man after the other, she feels nothing as she sleeps with them. Mm, that's a topic that we're going to talk about. Steals their identification. What does she steal from them? And leaves them with something that will change their lives forever. Interesting. What Now, what could that be? No one knows what she is taking or giving to the unsuspecting men. Mm, except God. See, God is always watching. God's always watching. But even as Gina continues down a dark path, lined with deceit, a piece of her soul seeks deliverance from the hidden secrets that have left her ashamed, alone in her pain, and without peace. Now, only time will tell if her secrets will be revealed. Introspection is a poignant story of a struggle between morality and retribution as a woman with deep secrets embarks on a life-changing journey to seek justice from unwary souls. This is a powerful book, not just because I wrote it, but I believe a lot of people will be able to get something out of this book. It's interesting because everywhere I go, I try and talk about the book, and when we were writing the book, uh, it was so interesting because it was like, what's Gina doing today? What is Gina up to today? And Gina has become a part of our lives. And anyone who reads the book will be saying when they put it down, what is Gina up to? And can't wait to get to the next chapter. I had an individual at uh, one of the banks that I went into, and she had bought the book. She had actually ordered it online. And every day she would be bring her book for me to sign. Well, this particular day I came in and she's waving to me, Regina, Regina, Regina. And so I waited for her and I went up to her, her uh, tell, to the teller line and she says, Regina, every day I've been bringing your book in and telling everybody I can't wait till you come in so I can autograph it. And I'm excited, of course. And she said, you wrote this book about my daughter. And I said, really? I said, that's interesting. So we started talking about it, and she said, you know what? There's a lot of things in the book that can help my daughter. So afterwards, I waited for her to help her other customers. I stepped to the side, and I said, I'm going to sign the book for you. Can you tell me your name? And she told me her name was Gina, and we started laughing. And she said, see, you wrote this book about my family. So, you know, there's different parts in the book that will relate to, it could be your sister, it could be your uncle, it could be a, a friend, because somebody is going through something. Everybody's going through something. There's hidden secrets, there's pains that we all hold on to. There's issues that we deal with, and that's what's happening with Gina. That's what's happening with this character. And, and the thing that I like about what's happening is, you don't know which way it's gonna go. You may think it may go to the left, then it'll go to the right. You may be sitting there laughing, and then the next minute you're crying because the way the book is written is very descriptive. And as my team come in and we just sit there and discuss different things that have happened, you'll get an understanding. But in order for you to be able to get into the conversation, you have to go to barnesandnobles.com or amazon.com. You can even go to our website, introspectionnovels.com, and order it. When we do the book signing, we're also going to be given a free nook away at, in a, in a um, drawing, and then you will get the book free download. So there's going to be a lot of things that are coming on, and I just want to say, hey, thank you. Hey, studios, thank you. Woo! We're going to have a good time. In a few minutes, I'm going to be... Uh, getting out of here so we can go ahead and have a commercial break. But when we come back from the commercial break, guess what? I'm going to bring in Adolfo Rendez and Bobby McGee from Positive Attitude Foster Family Agency and then also Positive Attitude Thrift Store. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Come on. It's all right.